Well, it's been kind of a busy week. As you can see, I have uh, another car here. This one was uh, was my brother's car, and the transmission started going on it. So uh, he gave it to me, and I finally got it all hauled up here. Uh, a buddy of mine drove me down with his truck and trailer and brought it back. So in exchange for that, I gave him uh, the Hyundai for scrap, along with uh, whatever we could fit in it. So uh, let's see if we can fire this thing up. I don't know if the battery is any good, but... Yeah, battery's dead. So I can't fire it up, but uh, that's all right. Put a charger on it, and I'll, I'll show you what it does. Yep, the pile is shrinking. The, uh, the Hyundai is gone, and uh, a good bit of this pile has been moved. I'm also gonna gonna give him uh, both halves of the yik there because uh, I got no way to haul him. And even if I did have a trailer, I don't know if that uh, little Ford Ranger would uh, would pull it up to a scrapyard. But so we're gonna get rid of both both halves of the yik, most of this uh, tin crap, and I sold him the uh, I sold him the S10 too. I think it's just time to uh, get rid of this thing. It's got no brakes, it barely runs, and when it does run, it barely moves because of the transmission, so I'm gonna have to come out here and uh, put air in some of the tires and see if I can get it to move, just so we can, uh, we can get it onto the trailer. It's seen, uh, seen a lot better days. I'll have to uh, pull all this wood crap out of the back and. We'll stuff whatever we can from that pile over there into this one. Getting rid of some of the cars. I'm sure as soon as I do that, I'll I'll get myself a trailer or something and could have hauled it myself. But yeah, I don't have the uh, the money for that right now, so we can let some of this junk go. When we hauled in, uh, we hauled in that Hyundai along with whatever scrap we could. Haul in the haul in the car and on the trailer it came out to two and a half tons so I had a little bit all right I've got a new battery in it uh, should fire up and I can kind of show you what it does yeah fires up no problem and it's quiet now and it'll move when it's cold but uh, once it warms up makes an awful racket and uh, I don't think it'll move I haven't tried moving it when it's warm yet but my brother said it quit moving so when it's uh, when it's cold it doesn't slip or anything oops I just I just ran over my battery <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I just bumped it. That's fine. Yeah, it was junk one anyway. But yeah, it moves fine when it's cold. So I'll uh, I'll let it warm up for a while, and uh, you can hear it—the noise it makes when it uh, warms up. Uh, it's only been a minute since I fired it up, and you can already hear it whine down there. It does not sound good at all. But it's not too bad of a car. The reason I wanted it was for the for the tires mainly. The two rear ones are in really good shape, and the ones on my car are kind of junk. And of course, the interior on this thing is pretty shabby. And uh, yeah, my brother he uh, decided to install a <laughs> stereo, and I don't think he knew how to take the panel off or put it back on. I'm not sure which, but it, it does run pretty good. And I don't think it's too rusty underneath. I haven't been under there, but it's got 182,000 miles, and uh, at this point, I don't think I'm going to fix it. If I crawl under it and I notice that it's in really decent shape, maybe I will. But for now, I'll just take the tires off and park it out back and save it for parts. <laughs> 